Hi folks, this is Ben from InstaCluster. Welcome to the next episode of InstaBlanks. And with me today, we have Paul Brebner, who is one of our tech evangelists. Paul, thanks for joining. Thanks, Ben. Thanks for having me. Hey, no worries, mate. Um, look, before we get into it, and, and we've got a pretty interesting uh, topic that I think a bunch of people, particularly in the, the Kafka community, are pretty excited about. Uh, but before we get started, would you be able to just kind of give, give me and the folks watching uh, a bit of a background about your past experience and your role at InstaCluster? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, so I'm uh, the technology evangelist, or well, the original one. We've got uh, more than one of me now. Uh, I started about six years ago, and interestingly enough, the first open source big data technology that I was asked to learn about was Apache Kafka. So I've actually been learning about Kafka and building demonstration applications and blogging and talking about it for quite a while now. So so I'm really excited about Kafka and our managed service that we offer. Awesome. Awesome. So I think, you know, the, the topic of today um kind of kind of touches on that and, you know, um mm. kind of scaling and, and running, running, yeah. running Kafka. So I've heard a little bit about a new feature in, in Kafka, and you're going to have to help me out with some of the pronunciation here. Is is it K Raft? Is it Craft? Uh, how do you what What do you call it? I call it Craft, but um, or <laughs> actually no, maybe I do call it K Raft. Maybe I just switch. Uh, K Raft <laughs> is probably the, the most obvious pronunciation, actually. Sure, and, and and so I guess would you be able to give us a bit of a background about um what this feature is, why it got brought mm -hmm. in. Um, you know, I used to understand that in the world of Kafka, we have to oh, run this cool. thing called Zookeeper. So like, uh, kind of give me the background about, uh, about KRAFT and um, what's what's happening. Um, the Kafka controller is basically Kafka's brain. So it's the part of the Kafka cluster that manages the Kafka metadata. And there's only one active controller per cluster allowed. So and until recently, um, you're right, Kafka depended on the external service to manage the controller election and also store the metadata for the Kafka cluster. And that was called Zookeeper, which is another Apache project, which is actually quite a cool technology, but it is, it's been around for a while now. And one of the problems is that um, the Kafka cluster talking to Zookeeper is actually quite slow. Uh, and it also requires expertise and resources to run a zookeeper cluster essentially so it's a lot simpler if you only need kafka for your kafka cluster so kraft is a kafka placement for zookeeper basically it implements a kafka raft consensus algorithm mm -hmm. um, to manage the controller election and also stores the metadata in the kafka topics directly so is is this like is, is this something i have to run separately or is this now just part of kafka and i'm i'm ready to go Oh, yes, yeah, it's basically baked into Kafka now. So you don't need to worry about having this external Zookeeper service at all now. Wow. So that sounds like a massive simplification in terms of, you know, operations and and, and management. Um, yep. What what are some of the other, I guess, key advantages that, that, mm. that KRAFT is bringing? Well, it's an interesting question because, I mean, people haven't really been running KRAFT uh, Kafka in production yet. But in, so this is all a bit theoretical, but it's simpler to run mm. Kafka. But you don't need the extra Zookeeper service anymore you don't need anyone that actually knows about zookeeper to be involved mm -hmm. and you don't have to have all the infrastructure and complexity around, around running a separate service uh, in theory mm -hmm. the metadata operations are going to be faster for example mm -hmm. things like partition creation is a metadata operation that'll be a lot quicker and we've got some results i'll um, share those in a minute maybe mm -hmm. uh, reassignment of petitions which is something that happens if a server fails you've got to reassign the uh the leader petitions to another server that's going to be faster as well um so i guess also there's going to be the potential for clusters with a lot more petitions uh, petitions give you consumer concurrency and therefore higher throughput with your data in the cluster uh, mm. and it also should be more robust as well hopefully once the zookeeper dependency is removed yeah yeah so it, it sounds like there is um you know a ton of great operational advantages that it's that it's bringing mm -hmm. either from a stability or um you know scalability or simplicity like I, I guess what will the end develop like if i'm just an engineer and i'm using you know kafka and you know i'm pushing messages in consuming them um how's this going to change my my day to day is it just it's going to work better or what does that look like uh yeah it should work work better um some things will be sped up as well okay. so there's certainly the advantage in terms of simplicity of operation that should bring costs down uh, that's a good thing um yeah. the metadata operations will be faster 
Um, I mean, eventually there just won't be any zookeeper option anyway, so you'll you'll mm -hmm. just be stuck with the K-Raft mode probably next year sometime and the zookeeper will just be phased out. I guess the main advantage from a developer perspective is the ability to have more petitions, but then there's the question of, well, um, why would you want more petitions and is that necessarily a good thing? Mm -hmm. um, more petitions will actually need a bigger cluster because petitions actually do consume Kafka resources in general. Mm -hmm. um, but there are lots of use cases around having more petitions from a developer's, developer perspective, including okay. like things like just massive throughput. So you can have clusters yeah. with more throughput. If you've yeah. got a data model that requires lots of topics, which also requires lots of petitions, that's a, that's a potential use case. Um, you don't need to worry too much about trying to optimize your data model to, to reduce the number of topics. Uh, mm -hmm. And then there also there's the issue of slow consumers. So that uh, Kafka consumers by default are single threaded. So you have to have more consumers if you want more throughput. And if you've got slow consumers, you just need more consumers at that point, which requires more petitions. Um, right. So that is that is an issue. If you've got consumers that are talking to a database, for example, that's going to take mm -hmm. tens of milliseconds and that'll slow your consumer down. And mm -hmm. you'll just need a lot more consumers and a lot more petitions as well. There is a new um, Kafka consumer available called the Parallel Kafka Consumer, which actually yeah. is multi which also can help with that as well. But that's sort of a, a that's complementary to KRAF yeah. as well, potentially. Yeah. It, th I mean, that's really cool because like I love these kind of optimizations where initially it's yeah. either, you know, performance or stability based. Mm -hmm. um, but the fact that it unlocks more of the potential actually unlocks a bunch of downstream use cases, such as increasing the number of, you know, topics, right? You know, that's definitely something... Yeah that, you know, developers, you know, kind of bash their heads against, um, you know, if they're not aware of, you know, some of the ramifications with that. Yeah. Um, you know, so so speaking of that, like, you know, performance, how does it compare to Zookeeper, right? You've, yeah. I think you've hinted a little bit, but it'd be great to understand yeah. how, what yeah. the performance so these is like. Are, um, these are provisional experiments that, that we sure. did last year in preparation for ApacheCon conference in the US. So this was done um, sort of with clusters that we'd sort of set up just to do testing on, not with our managed service version yet. Um, so however, we did find that petition creation is in fact a lot faster with KRAF. Uh, it's 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 almost so fast that you have to be careful in fact not to create a cluster with too many petitions, which can have other problems that I mentioned. Sure. It's constant time now. So it only literally takes a, a few seconds to create potentially millions of petitions compared to tens to hundreds of seconds with Zookeeper. It was, just, it was essentially too slow using Zookeeper to create large numbers of petitions. So you were never actually going to be able to create clusters with large numbers of petitions with Zookeeper, essentially. Um, petition reassignment was a lot faster. The experiment we did, it was 42 seconds to reassign 10,000 petitions compared to 600 seconds with Zookeeper. So that's significantly faster. With yeah. And in terms of the... Um, did we actually manage to create a cluster with very large numbers of petitions? Well, yes, we did. 600,000 petitions um, was where wow. we reached just with a single node. So this was a bit of an artificial experiment that we did sure. uh, that, that extrapolates to close to 2 million petitions on a, on a production three-node Kafka cluster, which is a lot of petitions. So, yeah, it does, yeah. It does work as advertised. Awesome. Awesome. So I, I guess if people want to dig into this a little bit more, where can people learn more about KRAFT? Oh uh, yeah, so we've um, we've got a three-part blog series on our website. Uh, there's the Apache Con Talk, which is on the Apache site. Um, I mean, the best way in practice is to actually spin up a trial KRAF cluster on our managed service. We've got it available. Uh, came out last month, I think, as a public preview. It is production ready as far as the Apache team are concerned. We just wanted to offer it as a public preview initially, uh, just so um, the customers can get a feel for it. And we can get some experience with it as well, but it is actually production ready. So give it a go. And, you know, definitely like all good Apache projects for, for the folk watching this, you know, you can go check it out at kafka.apache.org. Um, you know, definitely jump into the community mailing list, their dev list, if, you know, you want to contribute, the user list, if, you know, you've got questions or you want to kind of help out. So, you know, I definitely invite everyone to get involved but hey hey paul mate thanks so much for kind of walking me through it i, I definitely feel like um I, i've learned a, a thing or two and i'm pretty excited to see uh and, and maybe even give it a whirl myself mm, good idea awesome all right thanks mate cheers